Hey Mike, why won't my camera let me increase my shutter speed past 1 200th of a second when I'm using flash? Well that's a massive question, but let me try and explain it for you in under 90 seconds. It has to do with your flash sync speed, which is dictated by how fast the shutter moves inside your camera. Yeah, but I have a mirrorless camera, so there's no moving shutter. There may not be a mirror in your camera, but I'm still going to guess that it has a mechanical shutter. You see, every time you take a photo, the camera exposes the sensor light by opening the front or first curtain. Then after the amount of time set by your shutter speed, it will close the rear or second curtain. That is how a photo is captured. But those curtains don't open instantly. It takes a certain amount of time for each one of those curtains to open and close. That is called your sync speed, and for most cameras it's around 1 200th of a second. That means that if your shutter speed is faster than 1 200th of a second, the rear curtain has to start closing before the first curtain is fully open. You still with me? So it takes 1 200th of a second for the first curtain to go from the top to the bottom. So if the shutter speed's faster than 1 200th of a second, the second curtain starts to come down before the first curtain's all the way open. Yes, exactly. Now, as you can see in that example, the entire sensor is never exposed to light all at once. The top of the sensor is exposed first, and then it slices its way down to the bottom. So if I was to set off a flash during an exposure that was faster than 1 200th of a second, what do you think would happen? It would only affect a small slice of the image. Precisely. For a flash to work, the entire sensor needs to be exposed during the burst of flash. If only part of the sensor is exposed, then you get a big dark band across your image. And that's why your camera won't let you set your shutter speed faster than 1 200th of a second when you're using flash.